In this video, I'm going to quickly review the Anchor 200 watt solar panels. And I've been testing this for the last three weeks. And in this video today, I'm going to let you guys know how these panels do, show you guys what's included, and if this is something that you should consider taking a look at. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, welcome back to Random Fix. So we have the 200 watt solar panels here from Anchor. These panels are not in direct sunlight. And I wanted to do a quick review of these. And I'm pretty impressed with how easy it is to set this up and how well it does of holding up to the wind. And I'll also mention a couple of things that I don't absolutely love about the panels. So let me show you guys what it looks like when it's all folded up. This is how easy it is to go and fold back up with one hand. Ultra portable. And this is the box that it came in. Everything was nicely packaged, and nothing was damaged. It does have a nice cover on the bottom to keep this port clean. And you're going to get an owner's manual with a solar panel, a nice heavy duty cable, a bag, and if you buy an Anchor Solace portable power station they come with these cords most of the time and this will allow you to plug in two solar panels into that same single port and these are XC60 connectors you can buy these online for a few dollars a piece and they are really good connectors and I'll leave you guys a link to the ones that I use in case you guys are interested in fabricating some of your own connectors as it's very easy to do now that you guys know how portable the panels really are let's take a look at the setup here so it's got three legs built into the back and to support the legs it's got these hinges on the back and basically this is supposed to stop it from going any lower and you're supposed to go and angle these and today's a very windy day if you guys notice and i have gone through and set this up several times and i'm always impressed with the fact that these actually hold up to the wind here in Texas and they do a good job of putting out high watts even when you're not in the best position currently the panels are producing 140 watts and again I have not optimized this I haven't used any applications and the reason I'm not able to go and put this in a better position is because of the cord so let me show you guys that right now So the cord is only able to attach to the right side and there is no port on the left side. So if there was a port on this side, I can connect right here and I would have a little bit more flexibility in the placement as I needed the C800 on the bench. Did you know I've been testing this unit for about three weeks, so I really do put a lot of time into making these videos and if you guys enjoy this kind of content and you guys like my unbiased reviews, make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up as I really do appreciate it and let YouTube know that I'm bringing you guys valuable content and thank you so much. Now I really like the fact that this is very easy to set up. Let me show you the setup one additional time in my driveway as we do have a little bit better sun in that area right there. You guys can judge it for yourself. So I've set up the solar panel here. Currently the solar panels are putting out 178 watts and it will take about 3.8 hours to charge the unit up to 100% from the current 15. And I made a slight adjustment to the panels and the solar panels are still putting out 167 watts. It's not a super bright day. There are a few clouds in the sky and now I have them set at a very steep incline and the wind is not letting down and I'm going to leave the panel here for a few hours to see if it actually falls over from the wind blowing on it. Let's see what happens. So the panel has been out here for about two and a half hours. We started off at 16% and 
the sunlight is pretty much gone. We're completely in the shade. The unit is capturing pretty much nothing. Zero watts in. And those two and a half hours are really good as far as the amount of charge it took in just that little short period of time. And the kids didn't knock down the panels playing basketball. So that was pretty cool. So overall, this is a great solar panel and I would definitely recommend it. And I'll leave you guys links in the video description box down below. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment down below. And I will do my best to point you guys in the right direction. If you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing as it really lets YouTube know that I'm bringing you guys valuable content and it means the world to me. Thank you so much.